You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrians for our Black and White Sports. Well, I can't believe what I'm about to read, but in this day and time, I should. I don't see any way around the fact that this seems like it should be wildly illegal because. Point of fact, you are trying to hire based on either gender or race, but you are excluding another race, which is actually Roger Goodell, I'm talking to you, is racist. Okay, plain and simple. Roger Goodell, Troy Vincent, what you are doing with these meetings are racist. It's not fair, and this should not be happening. By the way, good minority coaches will also be excluded from this. Because there's a caveat in all of this that will cut out will cut out minority coaches as well as white coaches. Why? Because they're inviting one, one potential minority slash woman coaching candidate to these NFL meetings. Well, what if you got three black coaches on the team? Who's going to be the one to tell the other two, sorry, you're not black enough? I, I, I mean... This is where we're going with this. It's unbelievable. What if you're Hispanic? Nah. Nah. You're, you, you're, you're not making the cut. This is unbelievable. And if I was an, a white assistant coach, really, if I was a assistant coach of any color or gender, hell, in the NFL, I would file a lawsuit for discrimination. Discrimination. I mean, so fast, Roger Goodell and Troy Vincent's head would spin. Boom. And I'd, I'd file one against every NFL owner as well. This is crazy to me. I mean, I'd make Brian Flores' lawsuit look like a joke. This is blatant. They wouldn't be much to prove here. This is blatant against certain races. It's blatantly discriminating against white men. Uh, this is nuts. NFL sets meetings between owners and diversity coach slash GM talent. White guys are not invited. Wow. This is crazy. Well, here we go. The league last week sent out a memo to all clubs announcing that 32, quote, diverse perspective club nominated head coach and general manager prospects will have networking opportunities with club and league office executives at the NFL spring meeting on May 23rd and 24th. The memo doesn't say it, but it's simply a fact. No white males will be included in this. According to the memo from NFL Senior Vice President Jonathan Bean, who is the Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer, you would get you a lawsuit, you would be named in it, the Meet and Greet Opportunities aims to provide senior women and minority high potential coach or player personnel exposure to owners across the league to develop direct connections. Wow. What do you say to the minorities that don't quite make the cut? <laughs> I mean, white guys aside, there will be Hispanics, blacks, Asians that get cut out of this. I mean, we're saying it. 32. So that means one from every team. Wow. The NFL, in my opinion, has set themselves up for a massive lawsuit. Conversely, providing owners the ability to engage with new prospects in a natural and personal way without violating anti-tampering rule policies. The truth is, this may lead to personal relationships among folks involved, but this is not in any way natural. This is league mandated and set up for minorities only. When Outkick, and by the way, not all minorities, when Outkick previously contacted high ranking assistant coaches with aspirations of career advancement, one white coach was indignant about Pete Carroll's comments from the other day that was suggesting exactly what is about to happen. I'm sure Pete is coming from a great place or good place. I've never met an NFL owner besides the one who signs my paychecks. And I'm not even sure he remembers my name all the time, the white coach said. So he is literally telling you, look, I am white. 
I don't know any other owners either. Okay, so the minority the minority coaching candidates and the senior women candidates, if you're bitching about not knowing owners, well, guess what? The white coaches don't know them either. Okay, so you're not you're not getting some kind of poor treatment there. It's it's that way league wide, regardless of color or race or ethnicities. Quote, I'd like to network with a bunch of rich guys too. But my understanding is Carol didn't suggest white guys like me could go hang out with owners because I'm white. And I'm not even going to mince words on this. This coach, this NFL assistant coach said, fuck that and fuck Pete Carroll. Good, good for you. And those who participate must be nominated by their teams, one from the coaching side, one from the player personnel side, to be sent to a meeting with owners. So even advocates of such a process must understand that even nominating process, some high-performing minority coach or player personnel employee will be excluded along with all white males. Ah, so if you've got three black coaches on your team and all of them are essentially qualified to potentially be a head coach, two of you are getting asked out of this. Does that make you feel good? Because that's what's going to happen here. Because someone decided someone else who is, quote, more, more diverse was better. Yeah, how exactly are you going to determine blackness here? I can't wait to hear the league uh, uh, give us that one. Who's the more qualified over the other? Why did not another guy get excluded? Frankly, the league is setting itself up for a lawsuit from white dudes and black dudes asian dudes hispanic dudes i mean you name it the nfl is going to get their asses sued over this for discrimination this is crazy the league nonetheless views this as a positive step as part of an ongoing commitment to diversity of coaches and front office personnel the nfl is hopeful that future hiring cycles for coaches and general managers will lead to the hiring of minority race or women candidates. And again, I'm going to say it. Let's say you are one of the 32 that is privileged to get invited. Do you want the job because of your race or because of your gender? Not because you were the most qualified, just because of that. What if you were sitting back and you're like, hmm, I'm this guy. But I just got the job, and Bill Belichick was the other candidate. Do you really think you were the most qualified? Because you weren't. I- I'm just saying, okay? Wow. Wow. In my opinion, the NFL is setting itself up. If I was an assistant white coach in the league, hell, if I was an assistant coach of any color at this point, there would be a massive lawsuit filed on the NFL over exactly what they're about to do. This is blatant and crazy as hell. Wow. The NFL looks terrible in doing this right here. I mean, call for a a, a week-long mingling session where all the assistant coaches in the league, regardless of color, regardless of race, regardless of ethnicity, get invited, call all the league owners there and all their kids, you know, like if you're, The Dallas Cowboys have Jerry there and Steven there and all his kids. We know how nepotism is in the NFL. Get them all together in one room for a week and have a uh, have a a little mingle session if you want to. Yeah, I know that's going to be a hell of a lot of coaches, but that's the only way to do this legally if you're going to do it. I'm still trying to figure out what's wrong with the hiring process they got now. Owners should be able to hire whoever they want to hire because it is their team. Okay, whether the owner can blatantly tell somebody's the most qualified or not, it is their team. And if they feel like one guy is more qualified than the other, he or she should get the job. Wow. Good luck, Roger Goodell. Good luck, Troy Vincent. Somebody's going to sue the NFL. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.